fooled by the masquerade that countries like Hungary and Turkey are still real democracies, just illiberal ones. Illiberal democracy is a contradiction in terms. I hope the European Union and the people of Europe will resist the backsliding we're seeing in the East. It's disheartening to watch conservatives in Brussels vote to shield Viktor Orban from censure, including British Tories. They've come a long way from the party of Churchill and Thatcher. The slide toward autocracy is at least as grave a threat to the European project as the financial crisis or Brexit. And on both sides of the Atlantic, we have to address the challenge of migration with courage and compassion. Here in Europe, I add my voice to those warning of the risks of giving up on Schengen and the great benefits that freedom of movement have delivered. Look, I know very personally how hard this is, how deep the emotions run. I'm not talking about open borders. I'm talking about immigration laws enforced with fairness and respect for human rights. Of course, security and the rule of law must be upheld. Nations have a right and duty to control their borders in concert with their neighbors. But we can't let fear or bias force us to give up the values. That